Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries for the month of September. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there, but if not, simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. <clears throat> so something... There's a situation, it, it looks really bad, um, but you are um, maybe still holding on to hope or uh, it's like you're seeking a direction here. This uh, star card speaks to hope, healing, direction. It this card here, although it looks bad, really bad, there's been a lot of disappointments. This person that you can see here in the background there in black and just that little bit of light in the sky across the skyline there represents hope. And this is what you're seeking. You have hope. You are seeking a direction here for a healing. It's like you're in a, a pause, wait uh, moment with regards um, to your situation. You are longing to heal a situation or heal yourself from these disappointments. At the, uh, the heart of this reading, we have the gilded cage. Okay, you can see a woman is, is locked in, uh, looks like a, like a bird cage. There's an imbalance here. It, it, this, this card's ruled by Venus and also by Libra, Taurus. Um, you're very focused on the fact that you feel if you're the one on the inside you're feeling trapped and I feel that you are the flowers to me the fact that they put them in the image um, represents that there's there is some passion here there's there's some feeling here at least for one of you Now, you're reflecting on your situation. It could be with the gilded cage that maybe it's a relationship of convenience. Um, it could be that your partner is very controlling, very possessive, very jealous, and keeps you in a cage. Um, one which you would like to escape from. So you're in reflection, you're in the hermit energy here. It's very emotional. There's a lot of water here. And with this setting sun, it's almost like um, that sun, it's, it's almost like it's setting on that relationship. Maybe things feel like they're in the dark. Um, I don't see any stars in the sky, so you're without direction at this point. This is you, Lady of Shields. And here we have someone else in the picture with you, and they're down on their knees. And you can see they are seeking uh, your forgiveness or your understanding for something. So this little scene may have or will soon occur. And so this could be about forgiveness. This could be about trying to understand someone and the way that they treat you here. Trying to decide which direction to take. It feels like this could have been something that it's been going on long 
time with the Ten of Wisdom can indicate a long period of time. It could be that you are married or like a marriage. Now, it comes with the Seven of Swords. So, this is... Um, this is deception in or around that uh, Ten of Pentacles. So there's deception in this relationship, um, secrets possibly, uh, things that have not been said is in the drawer. I want you to look closely at this picture. We have swords in the drawer. We have swords beneath cross so it's like a, a standoff here and we have swords on the desk also um, it's almost like there there somebody is determined uh, or is not open to something or is uh, keeping a secret they're over a chessboard so it's like uh, what is, it's possible, what is this person's next move? Not one piece has been moved on this chessboard. Now that is reflective of that two of swords. It's like, what is my next move or what is their next move going to be? What is going to come out of the dark? Those swords are kind of half out, half in. There's one drawer beneath that is locked. Do I let this person back in? Can I trust them? Are they deceiving me? What secrets are they keeping? You're not exactly trusting them. So... With this Six of Swords and this Seven of Coins, you are assessing the possible risk, I feel, of taking this journey of uh, healing, you know. It looks like the boat is coming back. Typically, it goes in the other direction. It looks like it's coming into the reading, into the heart of the reading. The person you're with has a hot temper, may have caused a lot of chaos or causes a lot of chaos, possessive, jealous, unpredictable. You're looking for a solution to this. Um, it requires strength and courage here on your part to uh, face something possibly that could be even to face a truth or courage to take this risk there are um, a lot of fears see look at that there's a lot of fears uh, yep surrounding this this uh, connection, this is a, a card of marriage, contracts, um, and here we have the family, and here we have the false prophet. And these, this is where your fears lie, that what they're telling you about uh, wanting to maybe help the relationship or asking you to have faith in the relationship, wanting to keep this family unit together well it's driving you crazy your head is bandaged your heart is hurting because you think that not is as it appears not all is as it appears yeah that this person is insincere This is you, the emperor, and you are wanting to restore the uh, order. You are looking at the details of this. This can be 
uh, very emotionally draining for you. You may even feel uh, powerless in some regards here, maybe with regards to removing the obstacle that blocks this doorway or it mostly blocks the doorway. There's like a little crack you can see. Somebody has a secret and or somebody is keeping silent, not uh, expressing themselves. This is how you're feeling inside. The Ice Queen, depression, not seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, here we go. Trying to figure out your next move or theirs. And it is emotionally draining you. The fool is down there on his side and you have the absolute fool here in your reading, in the overall energy. Not This is not having listened to one's intuition and these are the consequences here. The Ice Queen, the depression. Feeling burdened, needing to get something off your chest but it may be unable to ex uh, express yourself because perhaps you might upset the delicate, uh, we want to say balance, but there is, of course, imbalance here, but the temporary peace of, uh, of this uh, situation, you know. You just want to get away from the conflict, to, uh, to stop the fighting. There's a recognition here that in this union, some major shift or change needs to happen if you are to save it. A decision is what is hanging in the balance. It's what you're looking at in the future. This is a future decision that you're looking at, one that you are thinking of taking. Uh, if you don't see this major change, you need to get to the root of the problem here. It feels, this can be something that feels chaotic. What is true and what is false? Looking to the future. Looking at the choices for the future, at what needs to change before you can take this decision. What is true and what is false? In the future, if you don't take this decision, it will be taken from your hands and the universe will make it for you. Something has to change and maybe, maybe the tower needs to hit in order for somebody to see that change is necessary. I feel like this person keeps promising change but never changes. And you know, um, it's like false promises. They know what you want to hear. And so they tell you what they want to hear. Or, I mean, what you want to hear to restore peace. But it's, it's, it's like a temporary, like an illusion of peace. And so uh, this relationship here uh, sits on a very um, faulty foundation and you need to get to the root of it to, uh, to address the f issues at the foundation. Yeah. 
and you both you both have to be on the same page that is what I have for you I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings